So in this video, the second video, I wanted to just highlight that you are working within not only your mental limitations, but also your physical limitations. So you all have explored your mental constructs that you that motivates you, that inspires you as you have thought about why you want to do this after watching video one and the benefits that you're going to get from it. And now I, and I also hinted at, at setting some goals and it was a bit unfair of me because I was thinking oh, maybe your goal is going to be to touch your toes. But intuitively, I think you know that that isn't really the aim of this. Improving your forward folds is all about improving the way you approach your exercises, the way you approach your body, the way that you are in tune with your body and the way you're starting to understand what you can and cannot do. So what you can do well, what you can't do well. And it doesn't matter if you can't do certain things well. We can't all do everything. We're not supposed to. Because everybody would be the same, wouldn't we? So the, the crux of video two is understanding that you may not be able to touch your toes or do the things that you think you should be able to do because you could have physical limitations or because the way that you're approaching it needs another look at. And by this, I mean, yes, you could have tight hamstrings and we will, we will deal with all of that in, in, the, in the subsequent videos and even this one. But the approach that you're taking could be could need tweaking, which I will show you in a moment. And the other thing I'd like you to take into consideration is that you could have other problems. I'm not a doctor, but you could have problems with your sciatic nerve. You could have problems in, in, with your, in your lumbar region that are preventing you from um, achieving even just a flat back or could be aggravating it. So I'd like you to... Um, at least explore in, in, in your way the possibilities that it isn't just about tight hamstrings. Okay. That being said, I will only be focusing on the things that I'm qualified to focus on and the things that I think I can help you with. The big no-no is folding forwards and just touching your toes. We don't want, you can, you can fold, you can do that if you just bend down and arch your back. Pretty sure most people can get down somewhere near their toes. So what I'd like you to do to improve this whole sort of stretching here, which is essentially the benefits uh, for your other performance sports that we're talking about, is to come up against the wall. Place your feet up against the wall. You're, you've not been naughty, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to make you stand here. And you're going to step three feet back, so your feet, not my feet, your feet size. And once you're here, you're going to place one of those feet up against the wall. So you've got the toes up and the heel down. Your back heel is going to be down on the floor. And I want you to put your, place your hands flat on the wall and reach your chest towards the wall. You will have a flat back. And you're going to reach up. You're pushing your heel back, so you're going to feel the stretch in the back of the of the leg. Okay, let's stay here for three breaths. Always reaching up on the breath out. Just minimalism, minimalistic reach up, minuscule. So we're going to go inhale, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So get your chest to the wall. Inhale. And exhale. If you have any pain, you, you relax. Relax back. Okay, inhale, move back. This is just tip number one. And then you just swap. Because I presume your feet are the same size the other way. So, or you can count out the three again if you like. And then you're just going to come chest towards the wall, arms up. So we're going to inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Remember to stretch up as you exhale. 
Now, of course, you can so gently, gently come out. You can do this for longer, or you can just come back and do those little three breaths with me, whatever's in your schedule. Uh, for the next videos, you will need a blanket and we will be, for, be performing not only forward fold standing, but we'll also be doing them seated. So just remember that, work within your body's limitations, understand it's not about curving your back and trying to reach for your toes. Think about chest forward, so use the up against a wall um, little, little trick tip there, and also just be easy on yourself as you as you work through this. Okay, so we're going to be getting into the actual real stuff in the next video.